Again, week two, we're training side control attacks. To be good at attacking from side control, you have to know what he's going to want to do to potentially try to escape. If you can really study what he wants to do to escape, you can be psychic. You can prepare. You can prepare a, a little game. Some guys, they like to do this. Let's have uh, John on top. Just cross face on your hook basically right here like this. They'll put their hand down here. Has anybody ever had someone do that to you? Yeah, they, they want to come here like this. Uh, wrestlers, MMA guys. It's a legitimate escape. What I want to do from here is kind of bring my hips low as I bring them high. I'm going to come out. And, you know, you can go on the attack from there one more time just so you can get the idea. Right here, they're going to bridge out and they're going to come up towards the top. Now, let's have a jump down. Let's actually go head this way for me, too. And legs this way for me. Right here, like this. And let's come back this way. Okay, right here. Perfect. Now, here I am, and he reaches underneath. I'm going to start reacting right away. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm going to hug, and at first I'm just going to bring my arm over here on, on this side. And I'm starting to put my foot behind me for base in case he tries to launch me. Now, the next part, it's going to be a little bit like a heel hook. I know a lot of you guys haven't really trained a lot of heel hooks, but I'm going to start to dig under this elbow here a little bit. And now... I'm going to hug, and I'm going to step over his leg. I'm going to keep everything in really tight, right here like this. Okay, so John, try to turn it. Oh, yeah, there's no way you can turn it. Everything is really stuck. Now I start to lift up. There it is. Just like that. Because everything's nice and tight. I have one arm under his elbow. I have one arm under my arm. Everything's really nice and snug here. You don't have to throw your leg all the way over. I think it's easiest just to put your leg right here. I really enjoy this with the gi off of the, the bread cutter, the asymmetrical choke. But uh, this works well in no gi too. When I'm here and I feel he's starting to grab, I'm going to slide my elbow over here. And then I'm going to start to change my angle. Changing my angle. Okay, now I'm going to take a step. <clears throat> I'm almost there. He does, has no idea what I'm doing probably. I'm leaning on him a little. Okay, so you get here. I'm thinking, he's not tapping yet. What's wrong? Now I just start to fall back towards the mat. I'll loosen up a little bit. You see, I can be right here next to him. Turn into me. Oh, no way. Just lift up a little bit. This is old school. This is old school jiu-jitsu. But you can surprise your friends with it. So here we go. One more time. Here, I'm going to start to kind of come in. You can hold on real tight in the beginning, or you can start to move in and, and come back like a fake. There's a million ways to, to get this kind of maneuver, but let's just look at the leg over. Make my X under the elbow, and fall back. Finish the technique. Thank you, John. Let's give it a try, guys. Coming up.